New at 6, one of the biggest employers on the north side is getting some buzz for something unexpected. You can see it and enjoy it yourself at the corner of Pratt and Ridge Boulevards. CBS 2's No Brennan takes us up to Rogers Park. So some of my favorites are the, the pale purple coneflower, uh, the butterfly milkweed, and wild columbine. You can see that throughout the campus here. You might need help remembering all the names. I've got a cheat sheet. But appreciation for these flowers comes naturally. Just a great peaceful place to come. To Brian Kane. It's attractive for the community. It collects rainwater and it provides important pollination for uh, birds, bugs, and um, other critters. While he's no expert on pollinators, he's familiar with things that buzz. So we manufacture switchgear and protection for the utility power grid. The products we make are, are critical parts of the, the grid. At SNC Electric Company, Brian works as the senior manager of safety and environmental affairs. We first had this idea back in 2019. We saw a presentation by the Field Museum's Keller Science Action Center, who uh, specializes in turning uh, industrial land back into native gardens and landscape. Brian figured SNC's 47-acre campus had room to spare and share. We moved the grass and we planted thousands of seedlings of native plants. This is what the corner of Pratt and Ridge Boulevards looked like last year. A nice quiet park with uh, grass. If you look around today, you can see bees, butterflies. Um, it's, a, it's a black and white change from what we had last year. The pollinator garden is now open to the public. We're in a residential neighborhood. We like to be good neighbors. And so this was one great way that we could do something right out here in public and let the neighborhood share in. No expertise is needed. Butterfly milkweed. To see beauty. It's amazing to see what it looks like today versus what we started with last year. Noel Brennan, CBS 2 News. Look at that. It does look very beautiful. Thank you, Noel.